Okay, so you have a problem like this. Now it's gonna get a little bit crazy, all right? Because now when you look at this, we're saying, all right, we have a logarithmic equation, right? So the one thing Ms. McLogan said you could do was look to transfer to exponential form or look to exponentiate both sides to get rid of the logs. Well, here I have three different logs. So before I can even do that, we're gonna have to use some of our um, properties of logarithm by condensing first. So I'm gonna to wanna to see if I can condense this. So I'll do this, I'll do ln x plus five equals, since I have um, subtraction, I can rewrite this as one single logarithm as division. Right? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So then, now I have a logarithm equal to another logarithm and they both have the same base. Whenever that occurs, I can cancel out my logs, which is exactly what I want, right? I don't like solving with logs. That's perfect. So I can just cancel them out. Now I have x plus 5 equals x minus 1 over <coughs> x plus 1. So if you guys remember, I think we did a review problem like this a while back, and I told you guys, remember, do all your review problems. Because guess what? This is review. This is stuff you guys you know, should already have practiced and known. So if you guys aren't doing those review problems, you're going to forget how to solve from here. So remember, whenever you have something on the bottom as a fraction, we need to get rid of that, right? So you're going to multiply by x plus 1 on both sides. Well, those are going to cancel out, and we're left with a binomial times a binomial. So we could use our FOIL, right? So I get x squared plus 6x plus 5 equals x minus 1, all right? And then, now that I notice I have a square, I know it's probably my only way I'm going to learn how to, to solve for this is I'm either have to factor, complete the square, or quadratic formula. Those are my three options. So let's look to factor first. And whenever factoring, we want to set it equal to zero. So I'll subtract an x and add a one. So I get x squared um, plus five x plus six equals zero. Now, since I have them set to equal to zero, if I factor them, I'll have a set of linear factors which I are equal to zero, so I can use the zero product um, property and solve for uh, zero. So when I factor this, uh, you guys can see I'll get x plus 3 times x plus 2 equals 0. Correct? Yeah. Factoring, I know I'm doing it in here, I'm doing it in my head, but like I said, that factoring works. You guys do no, it, you must be surprised. I mean, 3 times 2 does not. Five nine. Nine. Eight 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 six. Right, 3 oh, equals 6. Oh, okay. So therefore, I have x plus 3 equals zero, and x plus two <coughs> equals zero. So therefore, x equals negative three, and x equals negative two. Right. So I'm not done. Hold on. Shh. Okay. So now, ladies and gentlemen, so now what we need to do is we need to look at, all right, our function. So now we have x equals negative 3 and x equals negative 2. Well, the one thing we need to look at is we need to look at are those actual solutions to our function. So what we need to do is we need to plug them in to our original equation and see if they actually work. Okay? So if I plug in a negative 3 into this one, I'll have, and what probably the best common way to, to take this is if you set these all equal to 0 and graph it, you guys will see that this graph, if you guys graph this, the graph looks something like this. All right? It actually goes up like that. But you guys will see the graph looks something like this, where x is negative 3 or x is negative 2 is not a part of the domain. All right? The other way you guys can check this is if you plug in a negative 3 in for over here, what you'll get is um, ln of x of negative 3 minus 1, which is ln of negative 4. So type that in your calculator and try to evaluate for a negative logarithm. You can't. And the reason why is, what was our parent graph? The parent graph looks like this, right? Yeah. Are any x values negative? No. no. Okay? So you guys can't evaluate for a negative logarithm. So make sure when you guys are doing these and you're using you know, some factoring techniques or 
anytime really that you're dealing with logarithms, you want to double check, plug your answer back into your equation, make sure that you have um, correct, that you're dealing with, uh, that you have actual solutions, okay? Because it is going to be possible that some will be um, extraneous and some will be actual solutions, okay?